We're staging the biggest academic strike in U.S. history. Because the University of California is paying its student workers poverty wages. We make up one-fifth of the workforce and we only take up one percent of the UC's budget. We don't think a university should act like a corporation and we're going to put a stop to it through workers' power. We do, I don't know, somewhere between like 70 and 90 percent of the labor at the University of California. There's just no way that this university will operate and we will continue to stay out on strike until we win. University fucks around, the university finds out. Yeah. This is really unprecedented that four bargaining units have come together to strike at the same time. So we're not just here at UCLA, we're all across UC at 10 different campuses. We're 48,000 strong for the first time, and so we have an unprecedented opportunity to fight for really important demands that we normally wouldn't be able to. And there are so many shared conditions that we have um, in our work environment. We're fighting for living wages for postdocs, visa fees um, waived for international postdocs, childcare subsidies for working parents, as well as transit subsidies. We're fighting for capped class sizes because we really care about the students' learning conditions. Some of the key things I'm fighting for are ending rent burden and earning a cost of living adjustment. Um, I'm also fighting for, you know, more sustainable public transportation. As TAs, we want to raise the brightest generation of students, right? And we can't do that when we are looking, you know, wondering how are we gonna make ne next month's rent, choosing between feeding ourselves and skipping meals, or some students even live out of their car, some TAs. The average UC worker makes 23K on average. Uh, if you live on campus near UCLA, like the graduate student housing, it's like $1,400 to $1,700 a month for rent. So you're making about $1,800 a month, and then you're just paying that back to the university as your landlord. Increasing our wages would just transform the university into what it envisions itself to be. You think the University of California is a regressive system, but it's not. How do I get by? Well, I don't have much of a social life, which is extremely infantilizing as a 34-year-old woman. Um, quite frankly, it's really hard to you know, be able to have friends my own age when I don't make enough to go out with people. I am a very proud cat mom, but you know, unfortunately not a mother. Um, that's something I would like to be able to say at this age, but I've had to make the decision between, um, you know, continuing to work at the UC and having a family. The monthly cost of infant child care in Davis is roughly 70% of my entire pre-tax salary. Um, for graduate students at UC Davis, there is a child care grant available it works out to roughly $300 a month, um, whereas the cost of our daycare is gonna be $2,070 a month. So um, even with both of us being eligible for that grant because we're both grad students, um, it, you know, it's a little over a quarter of the cost of, of childcare. As of now, UC offers no subsidies <laughs> um, for childcare, and what they've brought to the table in proposals for postdocs includes giving a whopping $2,500 a year, which is equivalent to about $200 a month for childcare subsidies, which would essentially co not cover or even put a dent in the types of childcare that's available for um, postdocs at the moment. What this $2,000 a month of childcare support would actually do is really help to equalize the ability of students from different programs um, to, to have children. Because of the cost of childcare, a lot of women ultimately make the decision to leave science because their salary essentially covers just childcare. And so you do the trade-offs. I could be at home with my kid taking care of them versus working just to try to barely um, cover their childcare. It feels very urgent to be on strike right now. I have um, a very salient clock ticking. <laughs> I think if I could send one clear message to the university um, is really that we are human beings first that are providing um, a really powerful tool for the rest of our community um, in order for us to fight diseases, in order for us to learn new things about how the world works, in order for individuals to just live better lives in general. Um, and I think that we should be compensated fairly for that. We should be treated equitable. We should not have to work in 
um, hostile working environments. We have a real chance to transform the University System of California into a public university once again. And beyond the University of California, we are on the front lines of a transformation within academia across the country. Beyond academia, we are among countless workers fighting for dignity against corporate exploitation. Who's University? Our university! Who's University? Our university! Let's act like it!